guys, what's up? My name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be filming the intimidating TBR book tag. I will put the link in the description for the original for this video, but I saw this book tag and I was like, I have an out of control crazy ass TBR and I just thought it'd be fun to like mention a lot of the intimidating books on my shelf that are on my TBR that I'm hoping to read at some point. <laughs> and maybe this book tag will encourage me to want to read some of these books very soon by talking about them. So let's just jump right into the questions. Number one is what book have you been unable to finish? So the one that comes to mind is The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt because I got, as you can see, 300 pages through this 700 page book before I called it quits and DNF'd it and I was just so incredibly bored by this book unfortunately like I wanted to love it but I was just so incredibly bored so I haven't been able to finish it and I don't really know if I want to at this point anymore like I'm kind of done with it. Number two is what book have you yet to read because you just haven't had the time? <sighs> One that comes to mind for sure is Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King his son because it's freaking huge it's like it's like 700 pages and I just haven't really had the time to like sit down and just read a 700 page book you know like I'm always reading things that are short to like keep my attention going and not lose momentum I'm afraid something like this would put me in a reading slump quite frankly I haven't had the time to read this even though I really want to like I'm really curious about this book I really want to read it but I just haven't had the time. Maybe this summer, who knows. Number three is you have not read it yet because it's a sequel. And so for that, I'm gonna go with the sequel of Sleeping Giants. I just read this book, so I mean, I'm not like, it's not like I'm not gonna read it, but like the sequel to this book, I'm not sure what it's called. This is the first book in a trilogy. It's like a sci-fi trilogy. And I'm normally not a sci-fi person or a series person, but this book was so fucking good that I like need to read the sequel as soon as I possibly fucking can. And so, I'm really looking forward to reading this sequel, but I have not read it yet because it's a sequel and I just read this book, you know what I'm saying? Four is you have not read it yet because it's brand new. For that, I think I'm gonna go with my two new adult romance novels that are ARCs. Um, these both come out in September. This one is called Intercepted and it's about this girl who dates like NFL players, like football players. And then this one's called The Proposal. And it's from that author that just came out with that really popular romance, The Wedding Date. I haven't read it yet, but this is her second book, I believe. And it's about this girl who goes to Dodger Stadium and the guy that she's with proposes to her and she's like not ready for that because it's only been a few months. And so she has to like reject him in front of the entire stadium. And then at the stadium, she meets like a Latino doctor and that becomes like her love interest, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but both of them sound really cute and really like summery. So I haven't read them yet because they're brand new, but I want to read these soon. <laughs> Next one says, what book have you yet to read because you read a book by the same author and didn't enjoy it? I've been wanting to read The Girl in 6E for like a really, really long time, but Alessandra Torre is like a hit or miss author for me because I really didn't enjoy Ghost Rider. It was like one of my least favorite books that I've ever read. So I've been kind of like pushing off reading The Girl in 6E because I'm not sure if I'm going to like it now that I hated Ghost Rider. So, uh all right, number six is what book have you not read because you're just not in the mood for it? And for that, I think I'm gonna go with Beasts of Extraordinary Circumstance because this is a book that's kind of out of my comfort zone. It's like a magical realism. This guy has magical wizardy abilities and I'm not super into like magic and that kind of stuff. So I think I've been putting it off because of that. But I've also heard like really great things about this and I've been meaning to read it for a really long time. I'm just not always in the mood for something like this. So I need to find time this summer to just like dive right in. Even if I'm not in the mood for it, just go for it, give it a chance, you know. For seven is what have you not read yet because it's humongous. So I thought instead of showing you a Stephen King book again, <laughs> I would show you Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This book is like a solid 500, like 550 pages. So I haven't read it yet because it's humongous, but I do really want to read this one this summer because it's a book about superheroes and it's Marissa Meyer. And I know the sequel is coming out soon, I think, or it might be out already. And my BFF Dylan loved this book. He gave it five stars and that's just like really rare for him. So I just, I really want to read this one. Maybe I think I will get to this this summer. I'm really excited about it. Number eight says you haven't read it yet because it was a cover by that turned out to have poor reviews. For that, I'm gonna go with Still Lives by Maria Hummel. This was one of my book of the month picks and I was really curious about reading this like as soon as I got it, like I really wanted to read it. And then I started seeing some not so great reviews coming out from some of my friends and then I was like, oh, well, maybe I won't read it. I don't know. So I'm still kind of like 
debating whether or not I'll pick this up. I don't know. I started reading it a little bit. I got like four chapters in and it wasn't really like catching my attention right away. So it might just be one of those thrillers that takes a while to get into, but I don't know. I'm not sure about this one anymore. Ugh. And number nine is what is the most intimidating book in your TBR pile? I mean, besides the obvious answer of like the really lengthy, big, giant long books, you know, I would say pretty much this entire book of the month TBR shelf behind me. It's very intimidating. It just stares at me all day. And I also have another TBR shelf up here that you can't see, but it's an entire shelf full of books that I still haven't read. And it's like very overwhelming and intimidating to look at all the time because it's right in my face. It's like my second shelf from the top. And also Station Eleven is a pretty intimidating book that's sitting on my shelf because I have really high expectations for this book because everybody seems to love it so fucking much. And because this cover is goddamn gorgeous and I am just crossing my fingers and hoping I'm gonna love this book and it's very intimidating because if I don't end up loving this I'm gonna be like really sad. <laughs> that was the intimidating TBR book tag. I feel overwhelmed. What are some of the most intimidating books on your TBR? Let me know. Also if you've read any of these books that I just mentioned let me know what your thoughts are on them. That would be super helpful. And yeah thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time. That was the intimidating- that was Phoenix. <laughs>